break out the pie. The American pie, that is. It's been nearly a decade since we last heard from the crew that made amorous behavior towards pastries so popular. Now they're back for the reunion. I want the place spotless, and I want it filled with booze, and I want to make sure you're not around. You got it? You want to risk coming home and seeing more of your mother than you'd like? I suggest you stay out late. Gross. <laughs> It's movie time here on the show. Welcome to the best source for current films out today. I'm your host, Brett Martin. Thank you very much for watching. The kids are back, rediscovering their youth, now in their 30s in American Reunion. Let's get a little lit. You better be ready. You better be ready. This is the fourth installment of the American Pie franchise, featuring pastry lover Jim, Jason Biggs, Nice Guy Oz, Chris Klein, and party animal Stifler, Sean William Scott. Each character is dealing with some sort of midlife 30-something crisis and relationship problem that builds up to an actually funny comedic payoff in the end. High school was awesome. What we had was special. Then we graduated and started getting jobs and getting married and having kids and all that other stupid stuff. None of our lives are perfect, but no matter what we're going through, we'll always be there for each other. Were we just as obnoxious as these kids back in the day? <laughs> no, our generation is definitely more mature. What are you doing? I'm gonna throw up. The supporting cast of secondary characters helped this film that brings humor to sexless marriages, rehashed high school flings, and dead-end careers, or as I like to say, Comic Gold. I have not had a night like that since the 70s. Don't need this. You'd be surprised what you can do with a well-placed thumb. This may be the best film in the series since the original, which came out back in 1999. Serving as a reminder of lost youth, many of these characters work better as awkward adults than as teens. Most of the jokes, as you might expect, are a bit disgusting. If pooping in a cooler or having your genitals trapped in a laptop is your idea of humor, this movie is for you. So the Flickometer gives American Reunion a three out of five. Gross out humor is not my thing, but I did laugh a few times. Oh, make sure to catch the closing credits. You get to see the current shots of each actor juxtaposed to what they looked like back in 1999. They were all so, so young back then. But then again, weren't we all? Hey, get social. Go to my Facebook page, fan page. It's called The Brett Side, and click like. That's a wrap. I'm your host, Brett Martin. See you here again next week, I hope. Thanks for watching this flickedup.com review.